what's up everyone, this is Teacher Zell and today we will have the lesson 4 under statistics and probability. Today we will be talking about levels of measurement. We have first, the nominal level. Nominal level measurement arises when we have variables that are categorical and non-numeric or where the numbers have no sense of ordering. Okay, like for example, we have last time in our previous videos, uh, student class number. Though it is numeric or it is a number, it represents an individual. It is not a quantitative data but a qualitative data. And that can also be an example of a nominal level of measurement because it has no sense of ordering. And just like what I said, it is a qualitative data. Number 2. Original level Original level deals with categorical variables like the nominal level, but in this level, ordering is important. That is, the value of the variable could be ranked. Now still, this is a qualitative data, but it can be ordered. Like we have here the healthy breakfast, unhealthy breakfast, and no breakfast at all. Now this qualitative data can be ranked on which is better. Of course, healthy breakfast will be ranked 1, unhealthy breakfast can be 2nd, and no breakfast is the last. Next, interval level. Interval level classifies and orders the measurements, but also specifies the distances between each interval. Zero does not exist. So remember, there's a distance between. There's an interval. Like for example, 10 to 15 degrees, 16 to 20 degrees. Now there's a distance from 10 to 15, 16 to 20. Next, ratio level. In this level of measurement, the observations in addition to having equal intervals can have a value of zero as well. It is a variable with an exact zero. Let us review. Nominal, attributes are only named. Ordinal, attributes can be ordered. Interval, distance is meaningful. Ratio, there's an absolute zero. Let's take a look at this so that we will have a better understanding of the levels of measurement. The first one, class student number. This is nominal. Sex, male, female. Nominal. Number of siblings. This is ratio. Because there is an exact zero. Like you don't have an, a sibling, right? Weight. Ratio. Height. Ratio. Age of mother. Ratio. For example, wala siyang age, wala siyang edad, o diba? <laughs> Usual daily allowance in school. This is still ratio. Usual daily food expenditure in school. Yes, you got it right. Ratio. Usual number of text messages sent in a day. This is ratio. Usual sleeping time. Nominal. <laughs> Most preferred color. Nominal happiness index for the day. Original. Of course, you can level. You uh, there's a ranking when it comes to your happiness, like from one to ten, right? Okay. So for all of our viewers of the statistics and probability playlist, as you may notice, I've been using the same examples for you to understand better these types of variables that we have been explaining like from lesson number two up to this lesson so a one-fourth piece of paper identify the levels of measurement you can get a one-fourth piece of paper or a scratch paper or if you are um, very confident with your answer so you can answer through the comments section below so you have to identify the levels of measurement by writing nominal ordinal interval and ratio let's go number one highest educational attainment number two predominant hair color 
Number three, body temperature. Number four, civil status. Number five, brand of laundry soap being used. Number six, total household expenditures last month in pesos. Number seven, number of children in a household. Number eight, amount spent on rice last week by a household. Number nine, distance traveled by the teacher in going to school. And number 10, time consumed on Facebook on a particular day. Let us answer. Highest educational attainment? Ordinal. Of course, you can order from lowest, like from daycare, kindergarten, elementary, high school, college, and master's, and doctorate, and some more. Okay, number two, predominant hair color. This is nominal. Number three, body temperature. Interval. Now you may be wondering why is body temperature or temperature interval and not ratio. Remember, ratio has an absolute zero. If you take a look at temperature, temperature does not have an absolute zero. Because if you measure temperature in degrees Fahrenheit or degrees Celsius, it is considered interval data because the zero points are arbitrary. There can be temperatures below zero degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. But there's an exception. If you measure temperature in degrees Kelvin, then it can be considered as ratio. Because if you measure temperature in degrees Kelvin, it is considered ratio data because the zero point is absolute. So we measure our body temperature usually by using degrees Celsius. So it is interval. Number four, civil status. Nominal, brand of laundry soap. Nominal, six total household expenditures last month in pesos. Ratio. Zero naman wala. Okay, diba? Seven, number of children in a household. Ratio, amount spent on rice last week by a household. Ratio, distance traveled. Ratio, time consumed in Facebook. Ratio. So that's it for our lesson for today. If you want more statistics and probability lessons, please do check out the playlist. This has been Teacher Dal. Bye!